Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and today we have Hurricane Isis, Tropical Depression 10, which will be designated at 8pm, and another invest. So before we get straight into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and post notification button in case every time I upload you get a notification and like button and the share button and share this to all your family and friends to get the news out and comment what you think I did in the video and let's get straight into it. So, Hurricane Isis has 75 miles per hour with 991 millibars and is located right in the Bahamas. And its movement is northwest at 60 miles per hour. And so, this is the first hurricane that might hit North Carolina in the past two years, I believe, or like one year. And also, this is the second hurricane of the Atlantic hurricane season. So right now in the Bahamas, there are hurricane warnings and off the coast of Florida, hurricane watches and warnings and also tropical storm watches. And so everyone, this system could hit North Carolina by Tuesday, late Monday, early Tuesday. And North Carolina is expected to hit um, Maine, probably, but it is expected to affect Philadelphia, New Jersey, New York, Vermont, basically the whole Northeast. So, if you're in Philly or any other city or state in the Northeast, you guys gotta watch out. And so, for the U.S. potential rainfall, for the Bahamas, around 15 to 10 inches, 10 to 15, I mean, and for Florida... 4 to 6 inches for South and North Carolina, 4 to 6 inches Georgia, about 1 to 2. Then the rest of the Northeast added up 6 to 10 inches. So everyone, this is the wind history. It has affected Puerto Rico as a potential tropical cyclone, but it has affected the Dominican Republic and Haiti as well, and parts of Cuba. And so, like I said, w there's a bunch of warnings. It made landfall in the Dominican Republic yesterday, so... And the winds are affecting the Bahamas right now. So now, everyone, let's check up on Tropical Depression 10, but is this is this update. So, updated showers and thunderstorms has, may, has recently developed closer to the center of the small area of low pressure located a couple of hundred miles east of the Cabo Verde Islands. Although the system is moving northward towards less favorable environmental conditions, only a small increase in organization could lead to the development of a short-lived tropical depression later today. So, formation chance through 48 hours, which is two days, medium 50%, and formation chance through five days, medium 50%. So guys, this is already a tropical depression but it might become a tropical storm later as we move on along during the next week and we have this tropical disturbance a westward moving tropical wave located about 950 miles east of the lesser antilles is producing disorganized showers and thunderstorms some slow development of the system is possible while it turns northwestward over the western atlantic by early next week so Formation chance through 48 hours, which is 2 days, low near 0%. Formation chance through 5 days, low 30%. So this, these two storms could potentially affect land, such as this one. But not this one, because it is expected to become a short-lived tropical depression. So now let's go on tropical tidbits. So guys, Hurricane Isis has 65 knots, and this is what it looks like on satellite imagery. Really heavy rains in the Bahamas and showers, and parts of the bands are in Cuba, as well as the Dominican Republic in Haiti still. So that's its exact location. Most of the models predicted hitting uh, North Carolina. You know what? All the models predicted hitting North Carolina. And some South Carolina, but all of them predicted hitting North Carolina. Some of them predicted hitting Florida, but I don't, I don't give that a chance at all anymore. So one mile predicts it coming a Category Two. I predict a Category Two, 
in my opinion, two miles, three miles predicted, multiple models actually predicted going in the Gulf for some reason. I don't think it's going to go in the Gulf at all. And now we are on Invest 93. So, maximum sustained winds 30 knots, which is 35 miles per hour, which is the reason why it's tropical depression. A thousand eight millibars, that's what it looks like on satellite imagery. Really small, but still something. So, it is, it is not expected to form into anything major, like only one model, pre two models predicted coming a tropical storm. And then let's look at the forecast models for. So, for the North Atlantic, we have Isis or Isaias, however you want to pronounce it. So everyone, here is Hurricane Isis, Isaias. The GFS model predicts it hitting Florida and then hitting the coast between North Carolina and South Carolina. Now let's go on the G, no, I mean CMC model. So guys, here is the CMC model. It, it also predicts it hitting Florida, but then going in the Gulf and then dissipating. The roommates hit um, North Carolina and the Northeast. And then that is it. Now let's look at the really dangerous Navja model. So everyone, the Navja model predicts it hitting the Bahamas and then hitting North Carolina and then hitting New York and the rest of the Northeast and affecting that area. Well, lastly, the Icon model. So, and lastly, the Icon model, like I said earlier. But anyways, so, it predicts it hitting the Bahamas, the Icon close call from hitting Florida and then it just hitting the rest of the northeast and then the other storm is forming right there becomes tropical storm so we could possibly see potential storms in the near future but for now we just need to stick to these so now we are at this model right here let's go on the simulated satellite okay everyone so basically this is what it looks like the simulated satellite this is hurricane status right now possibly category two it hitting there and then basically nothing really happens after that Possible hurricane, but probably not. Now let's look at the pixel model. If it will load. So the pixel model. It also predicts a hurricane. I saw a little eye. It basically looks like. Yeah, it's the pixelated version. Now let's look at this version. So it's hitting the Dominican Republic, possibly category two. Uh, so everyone, this is what it looks like. It's hitting the Dominican Republic, making landfall, not yet, making landfall in the Bahamas. Really close call, but this system makes it look like model looks like it's small but it's not and then well, a lot of the models predicted hitting new york which is a sign that we should be ready in case and now let's look at the nam 3 km which hopefully ha yep So first, I want to say this before we get straight into the model. Uh, 
this stuff isn't actually going to happen on this model. The only thing that is true about this is the severe weather. They aren't good at hurricanes, so let's look at it. So, I know it's lagging a bit, but that's what it looks like. It predicts in little eye. And yeah, guys. So, it predicts it dissipating around this. Oh, no, it doesn't. At the end, it predicts an eye wall as well as it hitting um, possibly North Carolina. Most possibly, I don't know, but now let's look at the middle bars. And around this area, 975 middle bars. And that will be it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and like button. And share this with all your family and friends. And bye.